Hey everybody, Dr. Hill here at Advanced Animal Care Berea. I'm joined today by our uh, clinic cat, Cher, and we're gonna be talking about cat spaying and neutering today. Okay, can you tell me what is the difference between cat neutering and cat spaying? Yeah, so um, the terminology can definitely get a little confusing. We use the term spaying for when we're removing the female reproductive organs from a pet, and we use the term neutering for when we're removing the male reproductive organs from a pet. So the boys would get neutered and the girls would get spayed. Great, so how does spaying or neutering impact the health and well-being of your cat? So um, the biggest thing is obviously it'll prevent pregnancy from developing or from your cat fathering um, some <laughs> future kittens. Um, but one thing that we worry about too that's later on down the road is uh, we tend to see more reproductive tract related cancers in pets that have not been spayed or neutered. So how soon should you bring your cat in to see a veterinarian to get them spayed or neutered? So I tend to wait until six months of age to spay or neuter a cat. And the reason being is they just tend to handle the anesthesia a lot better at that age. It's not to say that we can't do it when they're a little bit younger. There's definitely a too young age, but that six month mark and on tends to be a very, very happy place for these guys. So what are the medical benefits of spaying or neutering your cat? So um, again, the biggest one is going to be preventing pregnancy or fathering kittens and then followed by the prevention of reproductive tract related cancer down the road. So like mammary cancer or testicular cancer or ovarian cancer. Um, and those are the biggest things that we generally worry about with these guys. So will it affect my cat's behavior? So um, it can sometimes mellow them out a little bit. Sometimes if there's some aggressive tendencies, it can help with that too. Um, but those are definitely questions to ask with your veterinarian before you have them spayed or neutered. Okay, so my last question is, how should I care for my cat before and after spaying or neutering surgery? Yeah, so you definitely, if they're an outdoor only cat, I would definitely try to keep them up maybe the day before surgery. The biggest thing is we want them to come into the clinic with an empty stomach because sometimes the, the anesthesia can make them nauseous. So we just don't want anybody vomiting. Um, but the biggest thing is gonna be for the next couple of days after the surgery, we definitely recommend keeping them quiet, kind of having their own place to come back to the, where they're not gonna be bombarded by maybe other pets or kids in the house um, so that they can rest and recoup and recover smoothly. All right. Thank you, Dr. Hill. You're so welcome.